Groceries. We talk about the highest grocery bills, where if we compare it to the Americans for a $50 basket that we pay in Canada, they only pay $35. We used to have, a decade ago, eight companies, eight Canadian companies. That's now been whittled down to only three Canadian companies and two American companies that control 80% of all the groceries in Canada. Even beer. We have InBev and Molson and Coors and Sapporo, which is 90% of all the beer sales in Canada. What a travesty controlled by three companies. And when we look at grocery prices, and we look at groceries for sure, only three Canadian companies, three Canadian grocery stores own two-thirds of the whole market. And that's Metro, and that's Shoppers, and that's Sobeys. And we look over the years of how that was able to occur. Well, in 1986, Safeway, was able to buy Woodward's. In 1990, A&P was able to buy Seagrins. Sobeys bought IGA. That one is the most egregious to me. The Independent Grocers Association is not independent. It's owned by Sobeys. When we look at, uh, we have Loblaws uh, buying Safeway, Metro bought A&P, Loblaws bought Provigo, Amazon has bought Whole Foods, Metro has bought Jean Couteau, Sobeys has bought Farm Boy, Sobeys has bought Longos. Mr. Speaker, when we look at the competition in Canada, there is no competition. We only have oligopolies. And when it comes to the grocery sector, we also have another item, another piece that makes it completely uncompetitive, and that is the carbon tax. Mr. Speaker, the carbon tax is added on to the farmer. The medium farm in Canada pays $150,000 in carbon taxes and it gets no rebate, meaning it passes that cost on to the consumer. Truckers get a carbon tax added on to the price of fuel and they can't, they don't get a rebate, no. so that gets added on to the price of consumers. Cold storage facilities and warehouses, they all get a carbon tax yeah. added on to their heat bills, yeah. added on to their, their bills to freeze food and keep yeah. food cold. All of that gets added, added on to consumers. When the carbon tax gets added on one, two, three, four, five times, the food goes up one, two, three, four, five times. That's why when we compare Canadian grocery prices to American grocery prices, Canadians pay less because there is no carbon tax. 